All right, guys, today I'm in this 2024 Lotus Electra. This is the all-wheel drive version, and I believe this is the R model, is what he, she said. Um, I'm here with my wife here in Plymouth, Michigan, um, for a Lotus event, and we're going to take this um, Electra out for a quick spin. First, I'll walk you around it and show you what it looks like, and then we'll take it on a spin. I only have this for about an hour, so I kind of have to rush through it, but it looks really nice. It's got a really neat paint color. It kind of changes um, hues as you look at it. This is their SUV, apologize for the wind. All wheel drive, 905 horsepower, about zero to 60 in about 2.78 seconds. Looks like it's riding on Pirelli P0s. These are 23 inch wheels. These are huge wheels, absolutely massive. Looks like you got carbon ceramic brakes in the front there. Looks like your charge port is right here. That's exactly what it is. Door handles pop out, which is really nice. Let's take a look at the trunk. Or front, actually. Uh, well, looks like what's under here. Looks like you get your charging cable and a place to put the charger. Washer fluid, really neat. Okay, let's take a look at the back seat real quick. Really nice leather seats back here. These are power adjustable in the rear as well. Really nice looking dash there. Massive screen. I believe that's running Unreal Engine as well. Just like the Amea I just got out of. Looks like you get a screen back here that you can um, adjust a whole bunch of settings. Uh, looks like you can control music as well back here, which is really neat. A couple of map pockets back here. Do you get a pull down center armrest? with a couple cup holders and it looks like a small center console this one does have the electrochromatic roof i believe that's what that's called and then what happens if you slide it all the way under oh yeah you can barely see it it's not a good day to do this uh, but it adjusts the tint of uh, how tint you want tinted you want the roof uh, which is really neat this does have the kef sound system in it which sounds absolutely amazing her side has a touch screen that she can control the music Pretty cool. My site also does have a screen there. Pretty nice. It is kind of difficult to get in and out of. The doors don't open very wide. Do have a power rear lift gate as well with a cargo shade. Got some cargo space back there, which is really nice. Looks like you got what's this button do? Oh, you can lower the back of this car. That is wild. And you can also raise the back of this car as well. The air suspension on this car is, these cars are absolutely insane. Crazy. Everything just passes through. I mean, you can see the holes that just uh, go right through the car. It's pretty wild. Pretty neat. Um, this does have LiDAR sensors that pop out of the side um, on the uh, top and the side. I'm not sure how to get those to pop out, but we'll see if we can play with that on our drive. Um, but yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take this for a spin. 900 horsepower. Absolutely crazy, isn't that, dear? Mm -hmm. This one has a 360 camera as well. That is pretty nice, pretty really crystal clear. Uh, not too bad at all. On the left here, you can control the amount of regen you have. And on the right here, you can control the drive mode. I'm just gonna keep it in tour. Um, I don't really have too much time to mess around with the drive modes today, but hopefully in the future we can get one of these um, for a long term and uh, be able to mess around with it a bit more. I will say first impressions, the pedal box is actually pretty close. I have massive size 13 feet and uh, I kind of find myself um, hitting the um, brake pedal accidentally just a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this does have a nice heads-up display there as well. And unlike the Amea, this one does have um, actual side mirrors instead of screens here on the side, which is interesting. This is my first like high-performance EV. Actually, this is my first full EV that I've ever driven, so this is really exciting. Um, it pretty much drives like a normal car. I was kind of expecting it to not creep very much um, when you let off the brake, but it just creeps like a normal car. Um, it just feels like a normal vehicle, right, dear? You've got nice Alcantara headliner there. 
nice leather wrapped steering wheel that I believe is heated. Wow, this thing's like really flat. I don't feel any body roll at all. Uh, we're just gonna shoot around here. Jeez. <laughs> the instant torque is insane. Holy Toledo. Is that the beeping that it's been doing? Is just because I'm over the speed limit? Maybe. No. Uh, I don't know what's why it's beeping. So you got to keep in mind this car is pre-production, so it does have um, a couple glitches here and there. But overall, this is pretty smooth over bumps. I mean, these are pretty rough roads here in Michigan, and uh, it's handling it pretty well, don't you think? Man, it just wants to go. I mean, you barely hit the the throttle, and uh, just an absolute madhouse of just torque. It's like instant torque. It's absolutely nuts. Holy crap. Oh, holy cow. Jeez. Yeah, it's kind of hard being on a little bit of a time crunch here, but like I said, hopefully someday we can get one of these for a week or so and test it out. Left. Oh, oh, this is so rough, but it actually handles it pretty well. I'm surprised. Those were some. Holy cow! Look at these potholes. Oh it handled it pretty well. These are 23-inch wheels. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got some party action going on up here with some ambient lighting. Love to have one of these at night just to see uh, what it looks like. This interior is really nice. Uh, pretty good quality. There's some rattling on, going on over here, but like I said, this is a pre-production model, and uh, that's to be expected. Do get a nice center console there. A couple cup holders that you can just press the button, and you can pretty much one pedal drive this thing too, by the way. Kind of jumping all over the place. I don't know what this was for. What is that for? Coffee? Sparkling water? Yes. <laughs> wow. That is nuts. Instant torque. That is nuts. I mean, you press the gas and I mean, like, it's just instant torque. Holy cow. That's, that's wild. That is absolutely wild. Put you in your seat. Yeah, put you back in your seat for sure. What do you think? It's really fast. Yeah. Very comfortable. I'm really surprised at how well it takes a corner. It doesn't really feel super, I'm not sure how much this weighs, but I, I, I would imagine it's pretty heavy, but it doesn't feel super heavy. Steering's nice, responsive, feels kind of flat around the corner. Soft touch, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, soft touch materials, looks like you got carbon fiber. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. The 2024 Lotus Electra, the all-wheel drive EV option from Lotus. You see it here, guys. It's really cool. Once again, shout out to Lotus uh, for inviting me up here in Michigan and allowing me um, some time in this behind the wheel. That's really cool. Wow. Well, there you have it, guys. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Paul's Place YT for some additional behind content and behind the scenes. And uh, hopefully someday we can get a hold of these uh, for a week and see what it's like to live with for a week. But overall, first impressions, it's comfortable. It rides nice, especially in these Michigan potholes. It's pretty crazy. It's wicked fast. Yeah. It's composed. It's quiet. quiet. Premium feel. Premium feel, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
overall, this is a really impressive option here from Lotus. Um, very, very, very cool. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll go ahead and see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Oh my gosh! <laughs>